Backpacker Studio is really, is really, really great to learn on. This is really kind of how I cut my teeth on photography. And pop open this soft box. It's a little windy. Hopefully it's not going to fall over. Speedlight fires right inside of here. Goes on like that. I give it a test. Yeah, it's working. Backpacker Studio style. Got one light ready to rock and roll. Just got to find a subject. You just gotta ask, right? Come on. Wow. Approaching people on the street for a photograph is a great way to learn and practice photography. And it's really simple. All you have to do is state who you are, why you want to take the picture, what you're going to do with it, and offer to give them a copy. Uno, dos, tres. <laughs> My unique approach to photography is very, very simple. It starts with really great gear, creative lighting techniques, and then the creative you. I think that all of us have this creative artistry inside of us. You just have to find it. So I happen to be here in this 450 year old Pueblo, and we're gonna go out and meet some people. We're gonna do some creative lighting, and we're gonna use some awesome gear. I've got a couple of secrets, a little couple of secret pieces of gear that I like to use that I'm gonna show you. And, uh, Visual labor. <laughs> I want to show you a couple of essential pieces of gear that I have with me in my backpacker studio. One is a scrim. As you can see, this thing's been around the world a few times. You gotta have one of these if I'm just shooting natural light and need to diffuse or I can shoot through it with my speed lights. Absolutely essential, I use it every day. Um, neutral density filter, I have one that's a varying ND. It's from two to eight stops. This is great, it's like putting sunglasses on your lens. It's F16 outside, but I really want 1.4 with my 50 millimeter lens, my favorite 50 millimeter 1.4 for the Canon shooters, the 1.2. And another thing that I have always with me is a Roscoe gel pack to put on my speed lights. Just when I wanna do some creative lighting, Creative colors. All right, we're rolling. Okay, ¿cómo te llamas? Mauricio. Mauricio. I don't speak very good Spanish, but Mauricio is going to be my model. He's got this cool pipe. I'm going to bounce the light from the speed light here. I got a really, really cool sun behind me. He's puffing up. So I'm going to take a couple of test shots. I'm at 5.6 at uh, 2 50th of a second. Let's just try that and see what happens. It looks really cool. I'm not getting much bounce, so I'm going to get closer into like this. And if I move this in, it actually will make it brighter, right? Because the closer you are, the closer the light source is, the brighter it's going to be. Actually, that looks really cool. Wait till these puffs. Wait, wait. Okay. Okay, so the background's a little dark, so I'm just going to cut it by one stop of light from 250th. Okay, otra vez. <laughs> it's really cool. That's good. I got it. Okay. Wow. Two days in a 450 year old town. It was awesome. I had the backpacker studio. Got lots of great shots. I can't wait to get home and take a look at them. Until then, Bija de Leva, 450 year old Pueblo here in South America.